In this episode of Smiley's Garage, we're putting the carburetors back. Hopefully. That was a pain in the butt. I hope I even put it in right. Man, I also don't know what these vacuum lines are for. On the old one, there was this plug blocking off one of the lines, which is the larger of the two. And I'm wondering if that's supposed to be there, or if that was an aftermarket add-on. I have to look into it. But for now, I'm just going to put it out. A little bit of WD to help that guy go on. Other than that, I think even if we don't have all the vacuum lines ran properly, it should fire up. And I want to get this thing started. So the next thing to do is look into the spark plugs. So, when I was kind of messing around with this thing, I was pulling the spark plugs out and checking them out, and they looked good, but I ruined the wire in the process. So, I have a kit for new wires. I'm gonna hopefully see if I can't reattach this. So, let's dig in. So, here's the ignition coil for the front cylinder, just kind of hanging out. Jammed a new wire in there, and put a new plug in here, uh, but that's only for this side. The other side, I kept stock because, one, I can't get the wire out from underneath here without major surgery that I don't feel like doing. And number two, it's fine. Like the spark plug works and this is a solid connection and I mean it's only for a test. So now we have hopefully spark, hopefully rebuilt carbs, and uh, maybe we can try uh, turning this thing over. Okay, before we get too excited, let's see if we even have spark. So I'm going to zoom in and see if we're getting spark when we go to start. Yep, looks like we're getting spark. All right. Let's get this plug back in. All right. We 
got some fuel line here. Right now it's teed off. Sounds like crap. So the starter motor is working very hard trying to get this engine to turn over. There is oil in it. The compression seems to be okay. But whenever I crank on the starter motor for more than like 10 seconds, you can just feel the wires. They're, they're hot. So it's pulling a lot of current. And the positive battery terminal is also very warm. So, um, leads me to believe that the starter motor is bad or the wiring's bad or there's a bad ground somewhere. But for whatever reason, it's pulling more current than it should and it's not spinning the motor over enough to get what I'm assuming to be good enough compression to get this thing fired. Also, the spark is very weak. So, Gonna look into those three issues and hopefully get this thing running soon. Maybe. Let's pull the starter out. Anybody remember my theory about this being somebody else's project bike? I think I just verified that to be true. Look at this. Yeah, those are stripped. And that wasn't me. So I think somebody else tried to get this guy out before. So somebody else probably already ran into that issue, but I have this and this has been my favorite investment in the last year Other than this motorcycle, of course Let's see if we can't get these things released Hey, or we can just break the starter. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, look at this carnage. This is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. Now I'm gonna have to pay for this mistake. But, uh, mission accomplished getting it out, right? So. Come on. going on? And the entire back half of the motor is coming out. And it smells. It smells like it's been working hard. Let's get that burnt motor smell to it. Let's take it apart, see how bad it is. Well, that's fun. I messed up good. Right, here's your main motor. Messed up pretty good. Couldn't get this guy off, so I just broke it. So that wire, I'm gonna have to put another connector on. Not really concerned about that at this point. Here's the 
hack job from the hammer. Yep. And here's the back. I don't even know if that's a bearing or what, but it's supposed to look like that. Hopefully I don't need this. Hopefully the whole starter just comes together and I just have to figure out a way to get this gear off. But we'll see. I gotta find myself another one of these. Dang it! Oh well. So, it's a learning experience, right?